what do you look for in the people that you hire? So let's say we are helping people who can help us build this product. So <laughs> people who can build production code, even if they come from a data science background, uh, and we want to see them. And what I look for in the people I'm hiring uh, into these engineering roles is first uh, good judgment, because again, we are not always in the same room. Nobody's micromanaging you. Mm -hmm. I need to trust that you can take a piece of a, a product, you can understand the experience we're trying to create with it, where it's going to interact with other pieces of systems, the trade-offs that need to be made. And some of our stuff is quite quirky, too, in terms of its infrastructure requirements, like sometimes GPUs or weird memory or whatever it may be, um, and that you're going to make good decisions quickly that get us to something that works. And I look for folks who are open-minded and collaborative. Um, because again, this is, you know, about having a team where everyone brings whatever expertise they may be bringing to the team, but we are able to work together and move. And again, we're an early stage company. We have a product going into alpha in four weeks. Um, we need to move quickly, um, but also build things that are robust, that are maintainable, where we can build systems, we can build on top of those systems and we can trust them. Um, and so it is really good judgment. Um, and then being somebody who is uh, collegial, who is open-minded, who is uh, willing to, you know, not always be right or, you know, um, has the agility to think through, you know, one of the interview questions I like to ask if I can give it away, um, and I ask this of data scientists too, <laughs> is, you know, let me give you a problem that we're working on. Uh, yep. something real, and then yep. tell me how you might want to approach it. What yep. do you think? And usually the answer I get is something that's going to be like, you know, a six month to a year long effort. Mm. I say, great, that seems like the right way to approach it. Now tell me how you're going to do it in four weeks. <laughs> and then they give that answer and I'm like, okay, cool. You have one week. What are you going to do? Like, cool. We've got by the end of the day, the two of us, what are we going to do together to like get something in place. Wow. Um, and so really look for that sort of uh, agility and thinking um, because you should always build that stupid thing first anyway. So you always have something to compare to as you, uh, you explore different approaches. I love that. I do something similar with the beginning of that and I don't mind giving it away is the interview question that I ask because mm -hmm. the problem is always going to be different. It's going to be whatever I'm banging my head against the wall most at the time that you come to interview with me. <laughs> um, but then I've never thought about that. This second part, this testing the agility of how you can you know, shorten that time span and make it more challenging. Well, it's That's also cool. the, the kinds of people who thrive in a, a very early company and a product where you do have to think about a bunch of different systems at the same time and things are moving quickly and you might build something and then realize like, oh, we have to evolve it in a certain way um, versus the kinds of people who are coming into a mature product. Like some people are much happier in that space where they can go deep on one corner of it. Um, that's a different skill set than what we're looking for. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's just uh, what could, makes you happy. Yeah, that kind of skill set could be great in a big tech company with tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people. But um, yeah, you need agility in a small, early stage company. I also, since I have the luxury of thinking of building a team, I think a lot about um, like how much optimism versus pragmatism we have on our team because you need people who are optimistic enough to like come up with those ideas and want to go after them. Right. You need people who are pragmatic to say, oh, and the, this is going to be a problem for all of these reasons. But you can't just be all pragmatist because then, you know, you'll never do anything risky and you can't be all optimist because you'll never ship. So it's really trying to balance that sort of uh, uh, approach um, as well across the team. And then I also really believe that everyone should bring some different background as well. So I'm not looking right. for a bunch of folks who like or software engineers at Google to all come work together. Like maybe we have space for one of those, but like people who come from a variety of different, grew up technically in different ways, um, who have seen a lot of different things, who can bring that wisdom 